like to say that if you're having a problem with your TV, be sure to check the model number first. This is what appears in this little box over here. Um, every TV is different. This is a Sony LCD TV, but you'll see the model number and serial number over in a box like this. The model number and serial number are very important because that is what will help you to identify what parts are needed to repair your TV. If you're having a problem with your TV, please feel free to comment in the comment section below this video or send us a message on YouTube with your TV model number and the problem that you're having. This way we'll be able to help you diagnose the problem and suggest a fix. So the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that you have unplugged your TV from any power source and that you have also grounded yourself properly. Next you'll want to take out the screws in the TV that are holding the back cover on it. Every back cover of a TV is different but most are held in by screws and can be easily removed. So we've removed all the screws here on the back of the TV. Now we're just going to remove this back panel. The main board. Again, this controls your inputs and outputs and, contro and controls your video and audio. The first sign that there could be something wrong with your main board is if your picture on your screen is not appearing. You plug in a Blu-ray player to your HDMI connector and it doesn't work. Or you have your or you have your cable box connected anywhere to the main board and you are not getting a picture on the screen. If this is the case, I always recommend that people double check on a different TV and be sure that the cable box is working correctly or the Blu-ray player or DVD player, whatever you have connected to the main board, just to make sure that it is not the source that is the problem, but yet it is actually your TV that is not showing the image. Now it is possible to repair the main board at the component level, but it can be very difficult at times. Component level repairs take a lot more knowledge and expertise. Board repairs, typically you just have to remove the screws and carefully remove these connectors and you can put a new board right in there, put the screws in and reconnect the connectors and you should be good to go. Typically what we recommend is ordering a new board as that will be a lot easier and faster for your repair. Again, you would want to look up the board number that you find on the damaged main board. You can search that part number on our website and find compatible replacements for this board. You can also search your TV model number on our website and that'll show you the different compatible boards for each part throughout the TV. Typically with a main board you'll see a lot more video issues than you do audio issues. One of the most common issues is having a bad HDMI input but any of these components can go bad as well. Thank you for watching our LCD video. Again, just a reminder that if you have any issues with your TV and you can't quite figure out the problem, feel free to comment below this video in the comment section and try and be sure to include your TV model number, possibly the serial number, and any symptoms or problems that your TV is displaying. If you do not want to post a comment below the video, please feel free to send us a YouTube message. The more information that you can provide to us about your TV issue, the faster and more accurate our response can be. Thank you for watching one of our many tutorials here at ShopJimmy.com. If you have any further questions regarding your repair, simply post a question in the comments section below or call our award-winning customer service team at the number on your screen. We strive to learn and share new TV repair tips every day subscribe to our YouTube channel and grow with us. Share our videos with your friends and help us spread the savings. And don't forget to hit that like button